Liz and Annie here again with the next installment of How to Get Proficient with Zoom. This time we're talking about lighting options, which may not seem like a major decision that you need to make as you're getting ready to pour your class into a remote format for spring quarter, but we're here to show you that there are some options that are better than others when you're trying to figure out what to do with lighting. So I'm joined, of course, by Annie, and then my colleague Kate, and my colleague Kalina. Now, you might not really be able to see Annie or Kalina, and that's because <laughs> they've made poor choices with their lighting. So we'll kind of go in turn, like um, person by person, and I'll describe the lighting options that are at play. So in mine, I'm in my living room, which has windows and like floor to ceiling windows and a lot of natural light on multiple sides of me. So as long as it's daytime, I just sit at my dining table and I get like light in front of me and light from the side. So I'm usually relatively well lit without needing to bring in any lamps or anything like that. When it gets dark, I do have to kind of rearrange lighting in my living room so that I have a lamp just on the far side of me so that there's some light coming toward my face. Otherwise, you won't be able to see me. So down here, you can see that Kate is doing like a variant of what I just described. So she's got light coming on her from one side. She's sitting in front of a window. She's got natural light coming in, illuminating her beautiful face and like highlighting her bone structure. But it looks like there's a light source just coming from one spot. So like I again, I have light coming from multiple directions, which is why my whole room looks more brightly lit than Kate's, which is just on her face. But that's better than what Annie and Kalina are doing. So up here we have Annie, who of course you guys recognize, but she looks really blurry, and that's because she's got her back to a natural light source. She's sitting in front of a window. <laughs> so she's backlit, which means she appears as a dark, shadowy creature in front of a bright light source, <laughs> and it's hard to see anything that's happening on her face, expressions when she's talking versus not. Um, it's hard to even recognize that that's Annie necessarily. So that's not an optimal lighting choice. Don't have the light, the only light source that you've got in the room behind you. It'll just make it so students see your silhouette and nothing else. And then uh, bringing up the rear, we have Kalina, who has decided to sit in her office at home in the dark with all of her windows pulled. And this might be because Kalina teaches really early and just rolled out of bed and didn't feel like getting dressed all the way or like putting together hair and makeup <laughs> stuff before she was on camera. Or it could be that she just forgot because she's busy that she needs to make sure she has, she has a light source. So Kalina is almost impossible to see. So she's got like darkness on her face. She's got darkness all around her. She could, Kalina, would you mind getting up and opening? Darkness inside her too. <laughs> <laughs> she's got darkness emanating from inside her. So she's just like hitting it on all angles. Would you mind getting up and opening the blinds to let natural light come back in? Yeah. Thank you. So we're gonna show you like uh, what not to do, but also how to fix these things. Okay, that's already better. So now we've got some side lighting hitting Kalina. Do you have any more lighting in your office that you can turn on? I do, I have a um, headlight. Okay, let's try that. Feeling light. Okay, brightly lit room. That's gonna be great. Yes, now we can, we can fully see you. We can recognize who you are on camera. And we're all very impressed by how scholarly and clean your house looks compared to everybody <laughs> else's background. Um, <laughs> Annie, I don't know if you're able to do this, but can you turn fully around so like that light coming in the window hits you in the face instead of, yeah. Yes. Okay. There's now, another one back there though. <laughs> My house is very light. That, yeah. There well, we go. Multiple, multiple angles of light is okay as long as it's not only coming from one weird spot. So now we can definitely see you. And Kate usually has a background. So usually she's not even in her home office. She's in Iceland. Um, would that be how you would keep your lighting typically? Or... I wonder. <laughs> That's I think, that yeah, that looks pretty good. And we can certainly see your face really well. Okay, so uh, none of us needs to be like lighting experts or anything like that. Just very basic things to keep in mind. Try to have light in front of you, like kind of behind your camera, behind your uh, computer so that students can see your face, see your facial expressions, see that you're talking, see that you're lecturing to them. Try not to only be backlit, try not to have no lights on. And yeah, other than that, you guys should be fine. So good luck messing around with lighting.